All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever. So let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Creator, Yahweh, and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, for He died for the 12 tribes of Israel. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, to the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the hopeful elect, the 144,000 brothers, the Akim, the saints who are pushing the word of God to the four corners of this earth, risking their lives day in and day out. And Shalom to all the brothers and sisters and children, the great multitude. We're on another lesson. And today is uh, Sunday, I believe it's the 13th, uh, November 13th. And in today's news, uh, they call it a, a, a boost for President Biden. The Democrats retain control of the U.S. Senate, the U.S. Senate after key polls. Like I said, these are the Rothschild mind games. Because you have all these Americans that went to go to vote in the 2022 midterm elections and you know, they're playing games you know you had Nevada and Arizona they were still counting the votes the ballots and uh, like I said it's all games they control you think you're you live in a democracy of freedom that's a lie they've been controlling every president since the beginning since the beginning of George Washington, Abraham, all them, all them presidents, okay? They control it. They, they put who's in power. They're just puppets. Your Senate, your Congress, they're all puppets, okay? So uh, that's the, the Rothschild mind games that they play on, the, on, the, on you dummies that vote and you think you really are free and all this. And, they, and, and like I, I said, this is a divided country, okay? So it's a divided government and that's in the holy book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 25, where he says, uh, every kingdom is divided. You look it up, all you brothers and sisters out there. Matthew 12 and 25, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And that's happening right now in America because we live in a divided country, okay? And, that, and that's that. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, if you look up the word desolation, it means devastation, ruin, barren, wasteland, and that's in Revelation chapter 18 and 10, because America is just at the, at the end, end, it's going to be nuke to kingdom come. But before that, there's going to be a civil war between the, uh, the Republicans and the Democrats. And you have all these other independents and all these other creep shows that are out there that have their own philosophies they're all gonna go at it a civil war is, is, is coming it's already been brewing all right so it means a, a wasteland a barren wasteland it also means empty everything has been destroyed and you can see this place is you know, the streets are crumbling the bridges are crumbling the cities are in decay just like Detroit Look up the city of Detroit back in the 1940s, 50s, 60s. That was like a, the jewel of America. That was like the all-American dream to live in Detroit. Now it's it's a city that there's houses over there that are, they're, they sell for three to five hundred dollars in neighborhoods that no one you're not safe. You're not safe just going to the grocery store. But every American city is decaying just like Detroit. Also means uh, hopelessness, and that's where people their mind right now. Is hopelessness in this country and this is the land of confusion the land of bitterness all right it also means depressing and bleak so that's something for you brothers and sisters to uh, to really think about that this this place the most high is is he's bringing this place down he's bringing Satan's kingdom he's destroying it Every day, the Roman Empire, the bricks of this Roman Colosseum is breaking every day. America is that great prostitute and the Europe is that great Greco-Roman Empire. And it's falling. Europe is falling. America is falling. The whole world, all the kingdoms of this earth are falling. But America is going to be the, the, the biggest of them all. 
This is going to be the Ju July 4th of all 4th of July's. That's how this place is going down, okay? So uh, we're going to go into the Holy Book. And the title of this, uh, this lesson is going to be, And God said in ancient Hebrew, Let us make man in our image. Jake, Jacob, both Adam, uh, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because the laws, that image means the laws, statutes and commandments of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay? And the Most High speaks ancient Hebrew, his son, the angels, Adam. Well, there was many Adams, so we're going to get into it. But the, your, your first Adam. He spoke Hebrew, which was the son of God. Noah, all the way down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all the way till now. And that's why the, the key, the name is key, okay, of the ancient Hebrew. It's key. All right, so we're going to get right into it. Let's get into, uh, let me see here. On chapter, we're going to read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, where he says, And God said, Let us make man in our image. And you see where he said, And God said, He's speaking, He's speaking in the ancient Hebrew, the La Shawan Kadash. Okay, and God said, Let us make man. Let us make man in our image. That image means the law, the, the law, statutes, and commandments of this holy book. That's what the, the word image means. He's creating Adam, and he's going to have the law, statutes, and commandments. And there was many Adams that were coming out of the water. Okay? Like I said, you're not going to learn this from the churches, especially that Roman Catholic Church, the Lutherans, the Protestants. They don't know nothing. They don't have a clue to the holy book okay and he says after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth now this is the same scripture that's in i'm going to read it in this holy book genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 then god said and now we will make human beings with an S that shows you right there there was many atoms coming out of the water and eaves they will be like us and resemble us they will have power over the fish the birds and all the animals domestic and wild large and small so God created human beings making them to be like himself. He created them male and female, blessed them and said, have many children so that your descendants will live all over the planet Earth. All right, so now we're gonna jump to, <clears throat> we're gonna jump to Genesis chapter three, verse one. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. What does that serpent and beast mean? The Greco-Roman Empire, because they're known as the serpent and a beast. Remember I told you America is that whore who sits on the beast? And remember that Roman Emperor, Roman Empire represents a serpent because he listens to who? Satan. Satan is that great serpent upon this earth. Satan and his legion of demons jump on the Greco-Roman Empire and those nations, China, Japan, Russia, Latin America, all the nations under the sun. So he says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, hath God said, You shall not eat 
of every tree of that garden. There's a certain tree that you don't touch. And the woman said, Verse 2, Genesis chapter 3, verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, which is Satan, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And that's that tree of what? Philosophy. Okay? It's on the left hand side. And now the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. See right there. He lied. That's that's the serpent. That's his nature. Satan and the legion of demons, they lie. That's why they jump onto people and they destroy the mind. They jump onto your government on the left-hand side, your senators, your congress, your president, the, the corporations, the pharmaceutical companies, everything that comes out of their mouth is lies. Because he lied to her. He said, you shall not die. <clears throat> that tree is death. Okay? And Satan lied to her, saying that she would live forever. That's why the, the woman is the weaker vessel. <clears throat> but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of that garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die, for God doeth know that in that day you eat thereof, that your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So that tree is the tree of evil, philosophy, and lies. For God do know it that in that day you eat thereof, you shall your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes. And what was pleasant to her eyes? Wickedness. Wickedness. Her, the, the wisdom on the left hand side is wickedness, evil, lies, deceit, and murder. Okay? And, she, and it says, the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also to her husband with her and he did eat. So pleasant to her eyes was to do evil. And that's why it says she, uh, the tree to be desired to make one wise. What was to be wise of this wickedness? Okay, so you have uh, you have the government, you have these politicians, the pharmaceutical companies, you have all these, these corporations, and they speak lies. Okay. Read on this one. Let me jump to. Uh, Verse 7, And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sold the fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. So when it says, And the eyes of them were both open, now they seen they, that the eyes, <clears throat> when their eyes were open and they were naked, that naked that nakedness means sin. Because now, they were deceived by who? Satan. And he, he gave them the fruit of philosophy, of lies, which is the Roman Catholic Church, 
your elections, your democracy, idol worshiping, boys with boys, girls with girls. Little boys now could dress in high heels and panties and walk into school, and if you say something, you'll be arrested. It's called a hate crime. This is the sins. That was the fruit that they ate. Drugs, those pharmacy drugs that they push on the people. And many, many uh, other, uh, your judicial courts, your Supreme Court, they're, uh, how they push, they break all the laws of God. That, that's what it goes, it goes into. And they sold fig leaves, and the fig leaves re, uh, represents the nations. China, Russia, Japan, North Korea, the Middle East, those are the fig trees. And made themselves aprons, yeah. So the, uh, they said they sold the fig leaves together. So, I'm gonna read it in, uh, in this one right here, verse three, uh, verse one. And this is, and it's called the, uh, chapter three, in Genesis means the disobedience of not following the law, statutes, and commandments. Remember I said, going back to uh, chapter one where it says the image, the image was given the law, statutes, and commandments to Adam to hold the law, statutes, and commandments to God and have that relationship with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But that's why the serpent came and deceived too, Eve. Where it says now, verse three, and now the snake was the most cunning and Satan and those demons and the people, these demons jump on to these politicians and the people who rule over you, they're very cunning because they are serpents. He was the most cunning animal and that the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai had made. And the snake asked the woman, did you did God really tell you not to eat fruit from that, from any tree in the garden? We may eat the fruit of any tree in the garden, the woman answered, except the tree in the middle of it. For God told us not to eat the fruit of that tree or even touch it. If we do, we shall die. Remember I told you, that fruit is the sin, the philosophies. And the snake replied, that's not true. You will not die. God said that because he knows that when you eat of it, you will be like a God and know what is good and what is bad, what is evil. And the woman saw that the beautiful tree was and how good the fruit of it would, uh, would be to eat. And she thought how wonderful it would be to come to become wise. So she took some of that fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband and they also ate of it. And as soon as they had eaten it, they were given understanding and realized that they were naked. So they answered, they, they sewed the fig leaves together and covered themselves in front of God. And like I said, that, um, That fruit is sin. And Satan gave him the lies to put the, uh, the Bible on the back burner, the holy book, and to follow the lies of Satan, which he's the ruler of this world today. Now I'm gonna jump to Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 1. Chapter 1 and 16. We have not depended on made up stories and making known to you the mighty coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who you call Jesus Christ. 
he says, to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, which is the, the anointed one, with our own eyes. We saw his greatness. And this is the, this is the, the, the men who are speaking are the apostles. We were there when he was given honor and glory by the God, the Father, Yahweh. When the voice in the ancient, the voice, there you go, the Father, when the voice, ancient Hebrew, came to him from the supreme glory saying, this is my own dear son with whom I am pleased. We ourselves heard this voice coming. The apostles says, we ourselves heard this voice coming from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. So we are even more confident of this message proclaimed by the prophets. You will do well to pay attention to it because it is like a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the light of the morning sh star shines in your hearts. And that light represents, Yahweh Shai is the light of this holy book. And the darkness is what? Satan, that fruit, that philosophy that was on the tree, that serpent, that beast, that Greco, who works with the Greco-Roman Empire in America, that great prostitute. The light represents the Yahweh Shai, the son of God, for he, he's gonna come and rescue us from this evil place that's ruled by Satan and all, and all these evil people, the Greco-Romans, all right? And that's why he says, so we are uh, even more confident in the message proclaimed by the prophets. You will dwell, you will do well to pay attention to it because it is like a lamp shining. Yahweh Shai shines in a dark place. This world is that dark place. The Senate, the con your Congress, your pharmaceuticals, your judicial system, that's that dark place which the darkness of this world is death. Satan is a liar. He's the, uh, he's the ruler of darkness. He's the ruler of the air. He is death. He's the God of the grave. The God of the Bible, Yahweh Shem Yahashai, is the God of life. Now I'm going to jump to... Uh, John, let's see here, 1st John, we're going to go to 1st John here, 1st John 1 and 10, and we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap it up, so the holy book of John, let's go, let's get right into it, the holy book of 1st John, chapter 1, verse 1, and we write to you about the word of life. This is this holy book. This is the word of life, which has existed from the very beginning with Yahweh, the creator of the universe. We have heard it and we have seen it with our own eyes. Yes, we have seen it and our hands have touched it because the apostles touched the son of God. And when this light became visible we saw it and we speak of it and we tell you about the eternal life which was with the father Yahweh and was made known to us what we have seen and heard we announce to you also so that you will join with is in the fellowship worship that we have with the father Yahweh and with his son Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, who you call Jesus Christ. Rewrite this in order that our joy may be complete. Verse 5. Now the message that we have heard from his son, Yahweh Shai, and announced is this. God is light, and there is no darkness at all in him. What did I just say? The book, the holy book is light. This is the truth. There is no darkness at all in him and the darkness is of what that philosophy that was back in the in the in the garden of eden so that darkness is satan america the uh, greco-roman empire it's a philosophy of idol worshiping uh, 
uh, the people of this world love Satan and his wisdom. That was that fruit of that tree. That's why the Most High said, do not touch of that, that tree. Because that's the wisdom on the left hand side. Wickedness, evil, orgies, murder. Like I told you, all these corporations that you see here in America and around the world, they got it by blood. They didn't work a hard life. They kill people for gold and silver, for assets. They will destroy your whole family. Murder is always on their mind. Lies and deceit, they're frauds, Wall Street. So that's the wisdom. That he said that's when they that wisdom is that um when their eyes were open and they knew they were naked that nakedness means sin and they knew they sinned against god by not obeying the law statutes and commandments uh the love of the world the people who rule this world and these multi these trillionaires billionaires and millionaires they're lovers of this world and to be a lover of this world you have to worship satan to keep your power. Uh, the religion, which religion means to keep you from the truth. We're bringing out the truth, the apostles and the prophets and the servants of God. We bring out the truth, this word of God. And we have nothing, but we have everything. This book is worth more than all the gold, silver, mansions, yachts, all the cars, Maseratis, Lamborghinis, Corvettes. This is worth more than all the what people kill for. These all this luxury that they want to live. And he says, uh, also the love of the world, which is also the college, the schools, the doctrine is on the left hand side of lies and deceit, fraud. Every teacher, all your so-called uh, professors and your scholars. They're all liars, okay? The philosophy, uh, philosophy uh, the, the hi your history books is all lies. Uh, nature, all your laws, they break all the law, statutes, and commandments. They make their own laws. Like I said, with the boys and boys and the girls and girls and the women of, uh, uh, for abortion, they, they, they create their own laws from the left-hand side of Satan who protects them. They, let me tell you something. This place, that's why it's going to be destroyed from New York to Los Angeles, from Seattle to Miami. Okay? Because they break the laws of God. They step on the holy book. They throw the holy book behind their back and they and they, they set it on fire. Uh, the languages, um, their, their science, all their books. What else? Their judicial, the legislation, the Supreme Court your constitution, everything is on the left-hand side, it has nothing to do with this truth, all right? That goes all the way back to the garden in the beginning of the holy book of Genesis. I'm gonna read the, the rest of it here. If then we say that we have fellowship with him, yet at the same time live in darkness. See, we don't live in the darkness. Two-thirds of our people, Esau, the Greco-Roman Empire, Amalek, that rotten grandkid and those nations they live in darkness because the most high is going to destroy all these nations because they disrespect the holy book and the name that's what we call all your leaders the antichrist and he says uh if, if then we say that we have fellowship with him yet at the same time live in darkness we are lying both in our words and in our actions. But if we live in the light, which the apostles and the prophets and the servants of God, they live in the light, just as in the light, then we have fellowship, worship with one another. That fellowship and worship, worshiping who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the blood of Yahweh Shai, his son, purifies us from every sin. Because at one time, we were part of this system. We were a part of this world until the Heavenly Father grabbed us out. That starts with the apostles, 
the prophets, the servants, the 144,000, the great multitude of brothers and sisters. We were in, we were under that. We were sinning because we were going to school. We were trying to be a part of the American way of life, trying to have that white picket fence, having the American flag, and trying to be a part of this world. So that's why he says, just as he is in the light that we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Yahweh Shai, his son, purifies us from every sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and there is no truth in us. Because at one time we were sinning, but then we went to the Most High Yahweh Bashi when you found out the holy name and we repented of our sins because we did bad. We all went off. We all fell off. But now we're in this truth, and now that's why you got you have to live a righteous life. And you gotta fight that good fight. But the rest of the people, they sin every day because they worship this system. They worship that beast, that serpent that we call the Greco-Roman Empire, which Satan rules and those legion of demons. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and there is no truth in us. But if we Confess our sins to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, He will keep His promise and do what is right. He will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all our wrongdoing. That's one third of us. He's He's cleansing our sins because we once was in this world and part of this world. Now He's removing us away from Satan and the government and these people who rule over us. That's why we fight every day. That's why we say, don't let this devil take your dignity. And that he will keep his promise and do what is right. And he will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all our wrongdoing. Because we did a lot of, like I said, we all went off in our past. That's why you, not only do you, when you pray, you pray in your back, in your past lives. That's in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three. In the reincarnate, there's nothing new under the sun. So you pray from the, your past lives and now and ask for forgiveness. If we say that we have no not sinned, we make we make a liar out of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and his word is not in us. So hope all you brothers were edified. All praises to the most high the God, Yahweh Shai, so let it be true and double honors to the apostles of GMS and to the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the whole on all the brothers who are risking their lives on the four corners of this earth. Most high willing, I'll be here tomorrow with another lesson. We're gonna bring out more scriptures on the ancient Hebrew, the Wada. The water, yes.